crafty friends, this is the Paper Chef here. With less than five days left for the Celebration 2021 special, I would like to go over a sample starter kit with you that I've put together, and everything I'm about to show you, you can get for just $99 and free shipping. That I'm a U.S. Stampin' Up! demonstrator, so that's what I'm going to be focusing on, what you can get for the U.S. special. Now, what is Celebration? And there's also like lots of, lots of things going on if you just want to shop too. So whether you join my team or just want to shop, there's so much going on for celebration. I've gone through this, I've walked through this little brochure before, which ends September 30th. So I'm just going to walk through real quick again, if you just want to shop. And then I'm going to get right to the starter kit. So if you just want to shop, you can get free things when you spend either $50, although that one's already sold out, but this is paper that you can get. It's really cool. I've done so many videos with Penguin Playmates. Okay, there's all these things you can get when you either spend 50 or when you spend 100. There's different items that you can get. So that's as a shopper, okay? So that has nothing to do with what I'm about to show you. I mean, it has something to do with it as far as its celebration, but it has nothing to do with the starter kit I'm showing you. What I want to get to is the very back of this brochure, and many of you were sent this. So you need to turn right to the back and focus on something that you can get when you join. It's very, very small. So I've I've kind of I've made it bigger, or as I explain it, okay, so what, what I'm about to explain now is this joining special. Every time we have a celebration, and this year it's special because we've had two celebrations this year. We had one back in, I guess it was January, February, could have been February, March, I don't remember. But then, and now there's one that goes from, now we have one that went from August 3rd till September 30th. It's, it's the last time we're having it this year, but then next year we'll have another one, but that's in 2022. Okay, now we have this, let me put this bigger. See what I'm saying? This is what you can get. Join now and choose any of the bundles from the mini catalog. Okay, I'm going to get to what the mini catalog is. But that's what, I, what I've chosen for you is, I think this one's a good one. Sweet little stockings. And that's what I'm going to show you. And then I'm also, you can also add other bundles to your starter kit. So for $99, you can pick $125 worth of items. Okay, so here's what I've come up with. And I'm going to walk you through it. So, and if you have any questions about joining Stampin' Up, please ask me questions in the chat area so I can answer them as we go. So this will be a QA and a and it'll be fun. And not only that, at the end of this video, I'm going to make something. After I show you all the stuff that can, you can get for $99, I'm going to make something with the starter kit. I'll make something with you. So first, pick a free bundle. In fact, when you click on my link and you go to join Stampin' Up, it's going to say, pick what, what free bundle do you want? At some point you'll be asked, and this is a good bundle, Sweet Little Stockings. It's a bundle that is the stamp set and the dies. And it, the dies go with it so you can cut out the little stockings. Okay. And here's one, here's just a little cat. Okay, so it's so much fun. And I'll show you some projects I created with that at the end of this video. And the ones that I'm working on now, I'm working on some note cards. Okay, so this is a bundle and you would need, of course, the Stampin' Cut and Emboss Machine to use the metal dies. But what we're going to create today doesn't involve any metal dies. It's going to involve the, a punch. We're going to use a punch. All right, so next I want to show you what paper you'd get. So you would, you'd pick the Sweet Little Stockings, Sweet Stockings Designer Series paper. So what I've done is I've already cut this up because I had it for my paper share. So what I would like to show you is what that paper would look like. And just imagine this paper is 12 by 12. Okay, and when you see this paper, you're going to see how cute it is. And yes, if you're wondering, you can cut out anything that doesn't have a die. Like there's dies that go with these stockings, but if there's no die to go with it, you can definitely use your scan and cut. And I did a video on how to cut out this pattern paper using your scan and cut. And these critters are so cute using your scan and cut. So let's go through this paper. I think I have all 12 sheets here. So you're going to get a pack of 12 by 12. These are, these are cut to 6 by 6, but you're going to get a pack of 12 by 12 designer series paper called Sweet Little Stockings, or Sweet Stockings. Okay, so just beautiful. Traditional colors, whimsical, fun. And who doesn't love a cat, a hamster, and a dog, and a mouse inside of stockings? So not just for pet lovers, but anybody would love a card made with this paper. And they're all double-sided. See, so I'm showing you, I'm showing you all the sides, both sides. You see, they're all double-sided. Okay, so that's the, that's the paper I'm suggesting in this bundle. Again, you can, you can really pick out whatever you want to pick out. I'm just suggesting this is a bundle I'm suggesting. 
You don't actually pay that, you pay $99. Okay, let's see, Peaceful Deer Bundle, but that comes next. The next is the Peaceful Deer Bundle. It, it is a bundle which looks smaller. So you look at the front of this and you're going, well, that kind of looks small, right? This, these stamps, but when you open it up, they're actually bigger. So we are going to use, when I show you how to use your starter kit, we're gonna use this stamp, this one, because it's fantastic. And it, it's, it already says, you know, oh, what fun. Well, it's backwards, you can't see it there, but it's gonna say, oh, what fun, right on the deer. And it, you can punch it out with the deer. So you see how much bigger the stamp is? Then the package shows. So the punch will punch out this deer and that deer. Okay, and then these, of course, you could use your scan and cut, which I've already done. I've cut out little bunnies. Where's my bucket of crafty goodness? I cut out other things with the scan and cut, whatever, didn't, whatever I didn't cut out with the punch. So I have little bunnies and extra little, extra little things I cut out, even trees you can cut out with your scan and cut. Whenever you don't have a punch, for, for, you just use it. Okay, now the punch can be, it's just fun on its own. The punch can be used for cutting, cutting out the stamps, but you can also just cut out really beautiful paper and get a nice pattern. And so you could use your punch here, let me, let me just use the punch. What I'm saying is just take a solid pattern, which I'm going to show you this paper next anyway. Just take a solid pattern and punch out these abstract shapes. You don't need to just punch out the stamp. Okay, so you can punch, and it especially works good with pattern paper. I mean, not pattern paper, uh, specialty paper. Specialty paper. So these are the little antlers. And this is like a little nose. You could do like a little... Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer, put the little red nose, or you can use it for an eye, but I think it's for a nose. That's what that little shape is. Okay, so that, that you would get in your bundle. So that would be, you save 10%, so you make sure you use that code because you save 10% when you buy the bundle. Now, Tidings of Christmas DSP. That's this paper here. I think you should get this paper here because it's, it goes so well with the sweet little stockings designer series paper. Okay, so let's show you this paper. Sorry, it's all piled up. I was taking, when you do a YouTube video, you do what's called a thumbnail before the video starts. And I had everything laid out on my table and I forgot to clean it up before I pressed the live button. But that's, that's what happened here. So anyway, this is called Tidings of Christmas Designer Series Paper. It comes already six by six, which is really nice. Oops, I'm dropping things. It comes in a pack like this. And you're gonna see when, you, when I show it to you that the coordinating colors are similar to the coordinating colors of the sweet little stockings. Okay, and this is what it looks like. So you get, you would get six sets of it because there's double-sided papers. So let's see, six. You, what are you gonna, you're gonna get eight, these eight pieces and then it repeats itself. So you get four of, I think you get four of each paper. I'm trying to think, yeah. 48 sheets in a pack. Here, let's just open it and see, because I can't remember. Because some of them have 12 patterns and some of them have, maybe you get more than one, two, three, Oh, this is even better. Four, five, six. Okay, that makes six. Six. Wait, how did I get seven? Eight. Eight of the same paper? Hold on. One, two. Yes. Paper. Tidings at Christmas is something you might already have because it's in your. It's been in the annual catalog. It's not just in this. It's not in the holiday catalog, but I do put it in my holiday share, holiday paper share, but it's actually in the holiday catalog. Oh, and I think I forgot this one paper here. Okay, so that's, this is Tidings of Christmas. So now, we're moving on. Basic white cardstock. You need that in your starter kit. So it, whatever else you put in your starter kit, I mean, you think, I think you always could really use basic white. And the regular one, the one with 40 sheets per pack. Not the thick one, the thick one's for making cards, but for what I'm showing you, for just cutting out stamped images, this is a good one. Basic white with 40 sheets in a pack. Then you're gonna need some ink, and the reason I chose these colors of ink is because of the they go with the coordinating colors of, of the designer series paper I'm suggesting for this starter kit. So the reason I'm cho choosing these is we're gonna actually play with these right now, and I think they're just great colors. And you have, if you get these, you'll have the Christmas colors you need to just start doing Christmas projects, and. I think this would work really well for you. So this is what I'm thinking as a good suggestion. I put together this Evening Evergreen. She so would use Evening Evergreen ink. Okay, uh, let's see, Cherry Cobbler ink. That's this one. And these two colors, so these two colors are in both sets. They're in the sweet stockings and they're, this color is in, here, let's just grab a piece so you can see what I'm saying. See this, look at this. This is sweet stockings designer series paper. There's the Cherry Cobbler. 
This is Evening Evergreen. And then this is the Tidings of Christmas paper that I'm suggesting. And there's that Evening Evergreen. And let me find a piece of cherry cobbler just so you can see why I'm suggesting these colors. See that? There's a cherry cobbler. One of, the, one of the really great things about Stampin' Up! products is how well they coordinate. And, and our color coordination is fantastic. Now this, this cinnamon cider I thought looked great for deer. It's one of the in colors. It's been around since last year. And it's also one of the colors that's in this one. Cinnamon cider is it's in this pack of the sweet stockings, but it's not in this one, but it, go, but it gets a neutral color because it's a brown. And therefore it's a neutral color and it'll go with the tidings of Christmas. It'll go with that. So that's why I suggest cinnamon cider. And then later on, I suggest the memento black because you always need black ink, right? Stampin' dimensionals, that's what, that's what these are. They come in a pack of three. This is, you could get mini dimensionals or regular, but I like to suggest the regular dimensionals because they're bigger and you can cut them down to make them smaller as needed. So this is the smaller ones though, but they come in a package of three, three sheets of dimensionals. And you're gonna need a clear block. This block will work for the deer. See, this is block C. It's real tight there, so you could get block D, but then you'd have to, block D costs a little more, so you'd have to kind of then arrange, arrange your items a little bit differently. So I'm saying block C. So I have a block C here that we will use to stamp with. We'll mount this on in a minute. And then I, I'm suggesting pool party sheer ribbon. Why pool party? Because this is, again, it's that ribbon that sort of, pool party's a great color. It's, it's inside here. It's inside of this sweet stockings. Not only is it the color that you can use for tags and things, it's just a really great color. The sheer ribbon will go with anything because it'll kind of take, here's the pool party. It'll take on the color of your projects and it's very easy to make bookmarks out of and tags. And then you can, you can send it through the mail Without get, it's not very bulky ribbon, so I really like the pool party sheer ribbon. So I'm suggesting that. And then Memento Black ink, that's this one. It's your all-purpose ink. You can use it with stampin' blends and markers and things. Tear and tape adhesive, because we're going to use that right now. You could use any adhesive, but I like this adhesive because for traveling and things, it's just a good adhesive that you just tear off pieces of. Here we go. It looks like this. And it's just easy to just sit in, sit in the sofa tear off pieces, you don't need any scissors, nothing. So we can use this right now. And then I'm suggesting, because we wanna get up to $125, as close as we can without going over, and the whole kit will only cost you 99. So that's why I go, that's why I did this. I got up to 124, so we only leave 75 cents on the table. In other words, you can't go over, you can't, you can't go over, it has to be less than 125 worth of products that you pick out without going one penny over. So I said, well, let's just grab something that's $3. And what you could grab for $3 is the Stampin' Spritzers. They're very, very useful. Stampin' Spritzers are what you're gonna use with your re-inkers. When you later get some re-inkers and you put a couple drops of ink in there, uh, you could use then water or alcohol. Depends on if you want, depends on what you're spraying. I mean, well, it really doesn't. It just depends on if you wanna use water or alcohol. Alcohol is a little more permanent, but you can spritz with water or alcohol. And you could do some watercoloring and, and uh, splattering. Splattering on your, this is when I have some water in. I put about that much water, I put a couple drops of ink, shake it up, spray it a couple times to get the plain water to come out. And then the colored water starts coming, you can splash your little boxes, your craft boxes and your pizza boxes and your mini paper pumpkin boxes, and you can splatter them. All right, so let me say hi to you guys and then here's the bottom line and then I'm gonna just get into, we'll make something with this kit. So here's. So all of this would have cost you, because you got a free bundle because of celebration, you, you got this much worth of stuff. All of this would have cost you if you just go to my catalog and you would go shopping in my catalog. And I'm going to show you the rest of the stuff you get in your starter kit in a moment. You would spend $171 because that's how much you would have spent on this and this. Shipping would have cost 10%. So this is what you would have had to pay. But if you get it during celebration, it's $99 in free shipping. Okay. During celebration and any time you buy a starter kit, you always get a free paper pumpkin kit. It's not our current paper pumpkin kit. It's our subscription based kit. It's always one that we, it's a pass kit. So it's a full kit to let you understand about what paper pumpkin's about, but it's not our current, it's not our coming up kit. It's a full kit. Um, you always get, you always get catalogs. Right now you're not going to get the celebration brochure I'm showing you because it's the end of sale. Well, you might get this. They might send this to you, but it'll be expired by the time you get it. You, you're going to definitely get these, though, because these go on. This is the holiday catalog, and these go on. 
until, let's see, this is the July to December catalog, but it actually launched in August. Let me, I, this is so small. January 3rd. This ends January 3rd. So those bundles that you can choose from, the bundles that are listed, let me just find the bundles in here. This is such a cool catalog. So all the things, I'm, these bundles that you get to pick from, oops, I just ripped a page. Oh, someone's getting a ripped catalog. It's all good. All right, see these bundles that are listed back here? And it's, they're really small. This is where you find better pictures of them. The ones that you can choose from. They're all in here. So like the peaceful deer, the sweet stockings. See, the sweet stockings, make, it has a really cool tag. So that's what this, so you get eight of these. So you, that way you can market yourself. You don't have to sell things as a demonstrator. You, you do, to stay active, I mean, you have until, uh, let's see, January 2022 to be, you can, you can buy things yourself and you'd stay active. Or if you don't, nothing happens, you get to keep the starter kit. And you would get dropped at the end of January 2022. If you didn't, before your discount, because you get a 20% discount, if you didn't purchase up to $300 worth of items before your discount, which is 20% off, by January 2022. So, because you have a whole quarter, and this quarter doesn't count, and that next quarter you have until next quarter, and then you have the pending month. And so, basically, you could just be doing this for a discount and be your own best customer. Or if you want to market yourself, this is good to give out. You're going to get these, and you're going to get a case of these. This is what I just got in the mail, and these are what I send to customers, and you're going to get a case with your starter kit and order forms if you want to use the order forms. Now, if you just want to, my team gives these out. I mean, they, some of my team do workshops and do, do sell things, but most of my team is what's called hobby, they're called hobby demos. And if you're one of my hobby demos, just go ahead and give that shout out in the chat area. So you get eight catalogs. No matter what you do this for, this is awesome to share this because any of your crafty friends or even friends that you want to be your crafty friends, are going to love these catalogs for inspiration. So you get a case of these as well in your starter kit, plus business supplies. That's so that you get all those items. Now, what do you do with all these things when you get them? We're gonna make this right now. That's what you're gonna do with it. We're gonna make something with your starter kit. We're gonna make these little treat holders. Very, very simple to make. Okay, hi Donna, hi Leslie. Let me just tilt my camera down like that so i can do some crafting with you guys this we're gonna we're gonna craft in evening evergreen and cinnamon cider and cherry cobbler we're gonna use the colors that i'm just showing you in your kit hello anna and Catherine and donna okay i see 24 watching and five comments so if you're here definitely give a comment all right because i can't tell you're here unless you comment i can on facebook but not on this so you're going to, to make a treat holder, you're going to take a six by six piece of paper. What we're going to, what I'm about to show you is how to make a diaper fold. This is called a diaper fold. Okay. And hi, Betty from Mississippi. If you want this side to show on the outside of your diaper fold, this pretty pattern, you're going to fold it from this way. You're going to start by putting it this, this side up. That's what I mean. You're going to have this part showing as your pattern. So then you, you'd face this part up and you're going to go like this. And you're just going to make a triangle, okay? It's good if you put this on the corner of a paper. I mean, like a corner of a table or something. It's like if you, but I'm so used to making these that I can make pretty much very easy triangles. You're going to point, hi, Catherine. Okay, you're going to point the triangle upwards. And now we're going to make the fold. Okay, so all we've done is this so far. And you can start really with any size square. Hi, Vela. I hope you join my team so you can get all those goodies for $99, everything I showed you. Okay, or anything you want to pick out. You don't have to pick out what I just showed you. Pick out anything you want from either this catalog or from the holiday catalog. This is just a sample. Here, let's put the sample back down there as I'm doing this so you can see it. All right, so now what you're going to do is you're going to fold this side over and you're going to fold this side over like this. Okay, so this is how to make the pouch. Before you do the pinch on the sides of the pouch, like this, before you pinch, you're going to fold this little flap down like this. Because that'll give you the little bit of, le not leeway, but the little bit of confidence that you have a straight fold here. Okay? So you're going to fold that flap down. Once you sort of say, okay, that looks good to me, 
Then you can go like this and you can pinch. Pinch the edges. And then you can do your, your burnishing. And if you have a bone folder or a spatula of some kind, like maybe you can use your little spatula that you have with your scan and cut, then you just take something and you can, like let's see, I, I usually have a bone folder or a spatula of some kind. I'm just going to look and see what I have laying around here that I could do what's called burnishing the edges before I use my tear and tape. Here it is. I have, I have what's called a, a pampered chef. See the paper chef. I'm the paper chef and I use paper chef products sometimes. And that's, I just use this little spatula. So I'm going to go like this and I'm going to go like this. Do, 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 right. So that's how to make the diaper fold. So before I use the tear and tape, I want to just unfold this real quick and show you how it was folded. And then I'm going to use the tear and tape and then I'm going to go ahead and seal it together. So this is what we're making. We might not make two, we just make, um, I mean, we might make two of the deer. I'm not sure if we'll make, we probably won't make two of the diaper fold, but we can make the deer. Okay. So what, what I'm going to do is just unfold this before I adhere it. Is that the simplest thing ever? But it looks like so elegant when you give it to somebody. They're just like, wow. Right. So what I like to do is I like to put tear and tape. You could just put a little bit of tape here, but I like to put it in all the different layers. So let's find that tape. And I like to make these while I'm watching TV, etc., etc., because it just it's just fun to make these. It's very relaxing to make these. So I'm just taking pieces of tape and I'm putting it down on each layer. So I just opened it up. I put one down there. And you can use like a tool, like your take your pick tool or your fingernail to get this off. I'm kind of looking through the camera, but it should come off. There it goes. See that little bit of tape? Okay, pull it down. I see my camera starting to lag a little bit, so I hope you're getting a good, I think my husband's sucking all my bandwidth. We're gonna blame him for sucking my bandwidth. All right, and you just put a little piece of tape there. And then you put another little piece of tape here. That's all, just kind of, oh, make sure, yeah, make sure the flap covers it. You don't want tape sticking out. Okay, so now we've used, from our starter kit so far, we have used this item here. I just wanna show you how many items I'm using to make this, in case you wanna make this project. We have just used the tidings of Christmas. That's what I'm using right now, tidings of Christmas. So now let's use the evening evergreen and they were gonna use the peaceful deer bundle. That's what I'm gonna use next. So let's take a piece of, I'm just taking a silicone mat to put on my table so I don't get any ink on my table. And I'm going to take the evening evergreen and now it's not real juicy because I've been using it, which is kind of good because when you first get it, it's a little, it's so juicy when you first get this ink pad that you're you try to write this and you can you can barely read the uh, oh what fun right because you it's so it's better to have the stamp pad that's not as juicy and we're going to use the stamping block c and the the peaceful deer which i just i saw i took it out a minute ago right i took out the peaceful deer so it's sticking to something right now so we're just going to look for that and here it is Okay, so to mount your stamp, you're going to put the flat side up and don't worry that your stamps get stained because whenever you use, like especially the reds and the cinnamon cider, they're going to get stained. It's all, it's all good, but it's all good. You still can use it just fine. I'm just going to do that so that it fits on here. Okay. That's what I mounted. I mounted the stamp onto stamping block C. This is, D would work even better. So if you want a D block. If you could just change up your starter kit and get a couple other things. Okay. Catherine likes this project so far. And hello, Cindy. Cindy's giving it a clap, clap. And Catherine's reminding everybody to hit like if you like the video. Thank you for reminding everybody. So what I want to do now is I'm going to just stamp onto my paper. This is like my scrap paper, right? So I don't want to stamp right onto my whisper white yet or my basic white. We want to stamp onto here first just to make sure... We have a good stamp, which we do, and it gets darker as you go, right? You know, because you, when you first ink it up, you have to get a little ink to absorb in there. <laughs> yeah, I know. You were scared I would lose the deer when I stuck. Donna's like, you're going to lose that deer. 
I almost lost the deer because I buried it under all that, that whole thing of catalogs. <laughs> so now what I'm going to do is take the basic white cardstock. And these are just little scraps I have that I can use for the stamping the Merry Christmas onto. So we're going to put this on the, the table. Now here's what's very important. Before you start stamping onto the middle of your paper and going, oh no, I can't punch it out. You need to find your punch and see what's going on with your punch. So don't go wasting time you know, doing this upside down on the wrong side of the paper. You want, your, you want your deer to be down here so that you can fit your punch in there, right? Don't stamp your deer up there because then you're going to have to cut with your scissors to reach up there to try to to try to get your deer. I'll show you what I mean. So let's get a couple deer. Let's do that. Okay, good. Let's do one at a time because it's going to have a couple antlers around it. So, you know, we'll do one at a time because we don't know where the antlers are going to land. And if I punch, if I stamp two of them, I might get like one landing on where the antlers going to be. Save your antlers, even if you want them to be in brown or a different color paper later. Save the antlers because you can color them with a marker and you can use the antlers later. Is that awesome? Always punch upside down. Always punch where you can see. Never punch first and then try to stamp on it. I've actually gone to workshops and I've actually watched my customers. They, and, and especially when I did this with students. Is that fantastic? I'm gonna bring this up to the camera. Look how fantastic that is. You can read it. Okay, I've actually watched people do this. I've actually watched them and I go, oh my God, what are you doing? Oh, I thought you had to punch it and then stamp it. This is what they were actually doing. I'm going to go ahead and do it because you might have thought you needed to do this. Because many punches you just use this way. They walked up to the table and they went, okay, they went like this, okay, and they got this little deer out. And they're like, oh, and then they go to try to stamp it and they're like, well, here, they turned it around and they're like, well, gosh, why can't I center it like you? And I'm going, seriously, no, you'd never punch first. Well, of course you can punch first if you just want the shape only. But never punch and then try to get this to, to land on there. How would you ever get that to land on there? Unless you had, well, there's a couple ways. I mean, I guess you could have a stamparatus and use this as your template and keep sticking this in there. But no, no, no. Always punch afterwards. I hope I'm making sense when I say that. Always punch afterwards. Stamp first and then punch. We're going to do another one. Then we're going to just wipe it off and do it in another color. So we're going to just, uh, so let's stamp this. Let's lay this down. Here, you always got to get your paper flat. Do, do, do. Here we go. Okay, perfect. That was Evening Evergreen. We're going to close the Evening Evergreen. We're done with that. We'll do it in Cinnamon Cider in a moment after we punch it out. So that is how easy it is to punch out your deer. You're going to put the punch upside down. Get your little white margins. Use, use one hand to center it. Once you get it centered, then take your other hand and you need to squeeze with both hands because this is Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, and then of course save all those little antlers. And if you get your punch stuck like this when you're trying to get it out of your paper, just do that to get your paper unstuck. Okay, because it'll get all those little scraps out. Now we're gonna take a, this is just my quick, quick easy method. I do have what's called a stampin' scrub and a stampin' chamois, and I have all these different ways to clean my stamps. But for now, since I am in a video, a live video, I'm using the quick way to, st to clean the stamp which is a baby wipe, okay? So, but the baby wipe does leave some water on it, so you have to go like this on your scrap paper, okay? I don't want to use a paper towel and get lint all over it. So now we'll do the cinnamon cider deer. We're gonna open up the cinnamon cider. Let's see if you can still see the starter kit special here. Clo I gotta, you know I'm a messy crafter. Put that little, cute little deer. So, so far we have used the Peaceful Deer Bundle. We use the basic white cardstock and we use the Evening Evergreen ink. Now we're about to use the Cinnamon Cider ink. And we've also used the Clear Block C and we've used the Tear and Tape Adhesive. Okay, so you're using your products from your starter kit. That's why I'm showing you this. I don't want you to get a starter kit and say, what am I supposed to do with this starter kit? I'm overwhelmed. No, you're gonna take it out and you're gonna start making projects, cute little projects for people right away. Okay, so that is stamping good. It's easy to read. So I stamped onto my scrap paper and now I can stamp onto my basic white paper. I'm gonna put this down. We're gonna stamp down here because, or actually I'll just stamp off to the side so you can see it on the camera. And we will make a cinnamon cider deer. And we'll do it again. 
It's a little bit crooked because the paper's a little crooked under it, so that's that's the only reason my dear's little crooked. We'll do one again so we can maybe put it. I should have put it under the silicone mat. That's what the silicone mat is for. It's for stamping. Ah, that came out even nicer. Okay, I'm happy with that one. So we're going to just shut the cinnamon cider. Get that baby wipe. And clean that off. That's how confident I am that I'm going to be able to punch this out. Okay, we'll put it there. And it was a little wet, so it's a little blurry around his ears, only because my stamp is wet. But, of course, this, be this comes so much crisper when you have... When, you're, when your stamp is really dry. So now you can see why I like that color. Here's what they should look like. My, that was a little wet. See, when I did that, it was a little bit wet, so his ears are a little bit fuzzy. But here's what they look like, the ones I did earlier. So we have our cinnamon cider and our... Evening, evening evergreen and cinnamon cider deer. Okay, now I just want to show you real quick. We're just going to put it together. We're going to do, we're just putting it onto our little diaper fold with our stampin' dimensionals, and then we're done. And then, of course, we would do our Merry Christmas, which I've already have done. And the Merry Christmas would be in cherry cobbler. So you would use your cherry cobbler ink and you would type, you would do Merry Christmas. So let's say we need our stampin' dimensionals. Okay, and you want to put one over here, and you can put one over here. And if you want, if you have a mini stamp at dimension, you can put one on his head too. Okay, so I like to just put him so his little leg touches that little flap, so it's kind of like cool. He's at an angle a little bit. That's what I did. Okay, and that's how he's on the diaper fold and then we put the little Ghirardelli treat in there with Merry Christmas with our cherry cobbler ink. I just want to show you something. This is clean. That it got stained. That's what I wanted to show you so you don't worry about it because I don't want you to worry. This is clean still. There's no ink on it but it's stained. So you go like this. You put the flat side up like this. And you, you're, you have stamping block C, so you're putting it at sort of an angle, see? Put it at an angle so that it's straight. And then you're going to take your scraps of your basic white paper that you made, maybe a quarter inch, uh, three-eighths of an inch maybe, and you just stamp on them and you cut that out. Okay? So here, let's just, uh, maybe I should make it straight so I won't have to cut it out as much. There we go. Because you can then cut a little banner at the edge. There we go. I think, I think what happened is I mounted this crooked, is what I did. So it's probably a little bit, it should be straighter. Okay. I don't know why I didn't do that. I should have put it at the end, so I only have to cut one side. And that's why you use scraps of paper. There you go. It's good enough. It's good enough to show you. So I would just, you know, chop that off and put that on there. Like that. Okay, so... It looks a little better. It looks a little better than the one I did earlier because I stamped it better. But that's how to make your treat. And then we will have used all of these products that are, you know, in the cherry cobbler. Of course, black you're going to use later for a lot of things. We just used our cherry cobbler ink. Okay, I want to show you what you could do with these as I wrap up. Let me see if there are any questions as well. Okay, my battery is saying low battery. And... We'll hopefully make it through this. I may have to grab my external charger. Okay. So what disappeared from view? Oh yeah, you did, it, did Donna did it? Did you get it? Oh yeah, it disappeared from view. You're talking about my deer earlier. Yes, the punch is part of the starter kit. I mean, it can be part of the starter kit. Doesn't work. That one doesn't work. But it. Yeah, it could be part of the starter kit. This, uh, this, and this punch is part of the Peaceful Deer bundle. So, yes, it's part of the starter kit. Punch is part of the starter kit. Punch and stamps. Yeah, don't mind my crazy writing. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm going to take out my microphone, and my wonderful husband's giving me a charge.
and go longer. Thank you. Okay. So I no longer have an external microphone. So I hope you, I hope the internal microphone of my camera is good enough for you to hear me as I go through what you can make with these little guys. And so what I want to show you is something I did on my channel, my YouTube channel, and something I've done on my Facebook lives. And these are things I've been making with this Sweet Little Stockings DSP and Sweet Little Stockings Designer Series paper and some other things. And they're not really all. Well, these, these might be finished, but maybe they're not all finished. I'm not even sure what I'm pulling out here, but I just know that I have some examples of these Sweet Little Stockings bundle. Okay, so this one is... These are what, so I have, I have a series on YouTube called in, To Infinity Card and Beyond. And in that series, I showed you how to make infinity cards. So we, we created this. It's called Never Ending Card or Infinity Card. And you decorate each panel. Super cute. Okay, so you could follow along with that series. We did use our scan and cut to cut the pieces of paper, but there are plenty of people online that don't use the scan and cut that give you measurements. So you can always create these manually, but I did create the card base manually. Okay, here's another one. I think you start out here. Let me start out like that. You start out with this, usually like a panel like this vertically. So this is Sweet Little Stockings Designer Series paper. So you can see how adorable it is. There's cherry, I mean, cherry cobbler, cinnamon cider, evening evergreen. See all these colors I keep using over and over because they match and they coordinate. And the card again is never ending. And here's one that was made by my, one of my friends. So this is the swap card that inspired me to make the whole project. And she also used the Sweet Stockings Designer Series Paper. These are called note card holders. And I made these, and there's are not, this one's not finished. This one's with a different paper. But this one is the Sweet Stockings, and this one is Painted Christmas Sweet Stockings. Okay. These are, this is a card I made with the Sweet Stockings. Designer series paper, just plain inside. Lots of fun. Here is a another note card holder. And again, I showed this on my YouTube channel to search for note card holder. Or maybe you have to search for sweet stockings as well. But this is just taking one piece of designer series paper and you can make one of these out of it. Here's another card. I think I showed these cards as part of my scan and cut tutorial on how to cut out the critters with the sweet stockings designer series paper. So you can just see that if you get this starter kit, you just have so many possibilities for projects. These are the dies that are part of the Sweet Stockings bundle that you get for free in your starter kit. Sweet Little Stockings bundle, this die, not the candy cane stamp, this is a different stamp, but this die, it's a really cool tag die, and you can make, I think that's just plain inside, you can make that nice card out of that. And here's another note card holder. And here's another note card holder. This one was painted Christmas. So you can see there's just endless possibilities of things you can do with the starter kit. And this is, when you get, I don't know if I have any more 12 by 12 paper. Let's see. No, maybe. Yes, I do. I just want to show you that that note card, note card holder was made from one piece of 12 by 12 designer series paper. So I showed how to make this, so, but it's double-sided paper, so I showed how to make the note card with one piece of designer series paper. So let's see if there are any questions. Uh, I really think I answered them as we went. Thank you all for watching. I hope you're excited to hear about the starter kit opportunity. Whether you want to be a savvy shop, shopper and do this as a discount for yourself, or whether you want to start a business and start doing workshops and share this opportunity with others, it's up to you. You can do whatever you want with your starter kit. It's just fun to be part of a team. We do a lot of fun, we do a lot of fun things together, especially in, inspiring each other with projects and creative challenges and card swaps and things like that. Thank you all for watching. This is The Paper Chef. I hope to see you on my team as one of the paper chefs in the near future.